It's 11 p.m. Do you know where your child's toy is? Hey, everybody. <laughs> it's uh, time for a special edition of My Little Hacker here at my desk, um, where it's me, Lady Ada, with me, Mr. Lady Ada, and the little hacker is um, asleep in the bassinet. Yeah, so this is the only electronic show that I know of that um, I'll just do a little behind the scenes photo here. Um, so uh, here she is. She's sleeping right next to me. Um, this is just a still photo. Uh, we hide her because we don't want her on the internet. Um, so luckily she was kind enough to cover her face with her sloth. She has a little sloth toy. Um, and then uh, here's Lady Ada's desk. So this is what it looks like behind the scenes. And uh, we're currently hacking one of the more popular and, and low cost and fun toys that a lot of people have. Um, a lot of parents already told us, oh, thank God. Um, we're going to uh, show how to hack and mod the Baby Einstein Take Along Tunes. Yeah, and, that's the uh, first one. Yeah, we have a bunch of videos that we already have. You can check it out on all our different places. But uh, what are you up to tonight with okay. this hack? So um, last time we did a video, I showed it. We traced out the PCB, and I started to like outline it to create a custom PCB using the ESP32-S2. But I realized before I lay down any parts, I should like verify that they like actually work, um, since we have modules for all the individual pieces. Um, and so what I did is I put together a really quick like proof of concept to um, check all the components. And the components I'm using are the um, ESP32 S2. So let's go to the overhead. Um, I've got the ESP32 S2 Cutie Pie, um, and the chip is on the back. This is a, a kind of a hollow setup there, so you can see the back of the board. Maybe I'll unplug this. So um, I really like the ESP32 S2. It's really stable. It's got great Arduino and CircuitPython support. Um, it's Wi-Fi. It's single core. It's pretty powerful. Um, it does have a DAC, but the DAC can't be DMA'd to. And so um, even though, like, in theory, if I wanted to save money, I would skip the I2S amplifier. Um, it's not that much more expensive than just a normal uh, analog amplifier. Oh, and um, the... Um, the board has great I2S support. And like I said, like the, the DAC, you can't DMA out of it. So you'd have to sit there and like push every uh, sample in, which could um, cause some data underflowing issues, which would have a weird sound effect. Um, so this Cutie Pie, there's uh, two little battery pins that you can connect to for external battery. And then um, this is the two AA battery pack from the, um, toy itself. And I, I, you know, it's like, could, could you update this to use a lithium polymer or lithium ion or chargeable battery? Sure. But first off, those, those don't really mix with kids. Um, and especially, wireless charging. yeah, well, you could do, we could do wireless charging, but then it would only make sense if this was, you know, fully waterproof and it isn't, there's, there's plenty of holes for liquids and spit up and, and all sorts of, and there's like a lot of fluids in the house right now. So um, sticking with the double A's is good. And, you know, here I've got some rechargeables, which means that this voltage can dip down to easily, you know, 2.2, 2.4 volts. The original circuitry, um, you know, could run at such a low voltage. I think it had a small uh, switch cap for uh, the green, blue LEDs and maybe biasing um, the speaker. Uh, you know, I didn't really do a full analysis of that. Um, but for me, I need, you know, a little, I need to make sure that I'm getting a good solid three volts. And so, um, I've got this boost converter here, uh, the TPS 61023, and I'm boosting to five volts. Like, yes, I could do the three and on the board that I make, I'll probably do a, um, boost converter to 3.3 volts rather than, um, you know, doing this five and then regulating it down to three. Um, but that said, the amplifier does, you know, work best from five volts. So we'll see what the final version is, but this again, just a proof of concept. So this gives me, you know, three volts to five volts here. And then, um, this goes into the uh, input. There's diode protection into the three volt regulator, um, and runs the chip. And then this is the little add on board that I designed and got the prototype PCBs a couple days ago. Um, it provides a single I2S amplifier, which means I can get, you know, 24 bit quality digital audio and you can DMA that from the, um, ESP32 S2. So you get really good quality audio effects. And then to do the prototype, I'm using CircuitPython because one of the things that 
I, I like about CircuitPython is we have very easy um, audio support and audio mixer support. So you can actually do stuff like volume control uh, dynamically in I2S, not using a potentiometer like you can do it digitally. Um, and uh, you can play multiple waves. You can play uh, not in the SP series, but you can play MP3s on the Cortex series because we use the real player MP3 decoder. And then um, I just took this uh, Molex Pico Blade connector because this is a Molex Pico Blade uh, connector here, and I made a little cable and using the uh, speaker on board. And then um, we just wrote a little bit of code. So let's go to the computer. Let's test if the computer comes in. Um, okay, great. So this is a little bit of CircuitPython code. And uh, maybe I'll make the font a little bit bigger. Okay, so I've got a bunch of imports um, and then I2S. Uh, what's nice about the ESP series is you can use any three pins for I2S. So I just, you know, pick these three in a row. Um, and then we use an audio mixer. And the reason I use an audio mixer is actually turns out when I first did this, I didn't mix the audio and I had the speaker kind of like at full volume and it was pretty loud and actually caused the power supply to dip and I got a brown out. So um, instead of uh you know in the end what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the gain of the amplifier to reduce it because right now i think it's like a max gain so reduce that so that i don't have to necessarily use the mixer but i was like well you know it's a good excuse to to do um digital volume control and then there's an onboard button on the cutie pie and i wanted to use it to simulate when somebody pressed a button um and then um i do this little chunk of code here and what this does this is what this is again, like I love Python so much because instead of like an Arduino, this would be like a full convoluted thing with like memory management and like strings and like all this nonsense. Um, what's cool is we have this built in flash disk drive that uses the memory of the ESP32 S2, like about a, you know, get about like one megabyte. I just list what's in the directory and then I just convert it to lowercase names in case it's mixed case because we support long file names. And then I just check, oh, it does, is it a WAV file? And um, it's not a dot file, which is like Mac OS creates these dot files, it's really annoying. Then, um, you know, I create a list of all the waves. So, you know, what would in Arduino be or in C would be just a huge amount of code is like four very easy to read lines. And um, and then again, there's that mixer. So I set the volume to 50%. And then every time you press the button, um, again, so readable, I do a random choice of the waves and then I print out what I'm playing. If there's multiple waves, open the file, um, put it through the mixer. And then while the mixer is playing, I wait and then I close the file and then I wait for the, make sure the button is released. Um, so then um, on the over, so yeah, sorry. And then, um, on the disk itself, so I have only one wave file right now, which is um, Mr. Lady. I said you, this was a capture of the original audio. Yeah, from... someone was like, "What are the songs on this thing?" And they um, did like a music history thing, and they okay. posted up, "Oh, these are what they are," and then they recorded them and they put them online. I'm like, "Oh." Um, instead of me recording them off the device, I'll just grab the recordings that someone else made. So this is recording from what's on the device. Yeah. And um, what's neat is, of course, um, the uh, the audio is actually a little bit like staticky, but it's not the amplifier. The amplifier is actually reproducing the static of the recording because like, the you know, it's a recording of a recording of like a playback that we're now playing back again. So it has a very like a little bit of a hiss. In the background so if you hear that that's actually not from the amplifier it's from the amplifier doing such a good job that it replicates the hiss and then yeah, it's that vinyl sound that you want for the your authentic child's, for your child's toy yeah and then um audacity is what you'd use to create these wave files we have a guy on this um that basically you want to make sure that your uh project is uh, a wave uh, 22 kilohertz is plenty um you can do 44 but you know, this isn't like hi-fi here. So 22 kilohertz is, is fine. Um, and then monophonic, it just, you know, you don't, there's only one speaker, so there's no point in having stereo. So you just mix your audio down to one channel and then export it 22 kilohertz, 16 bit. Um, and don't save. And then you save the wave file on here. Now, again, the, the onboard disk drive for the ESP32 is not that big. I think it's, yeah, it's only about like one megabyte, 600, 940K. 
Um, so, uh, you know, you can't have a lot of audio clips. So this one is, is kind of short. I think this one was, um, this is 300 K and it's only seven seconds long. I mean, we could have, um, Oh yeah, that was because I that, I just trimmed it so I could do this test. Yeah, the songs gonna, are longer. The songs are longer, but also we're gonna have a micro SD card that'll you know if you if you want to have more storage because um, it's you know the the module I'm using doesn't come with more than four megabytes of flash and you need that flash for the bootloader and for the firmware. So it's actually just easier like you put a slot on and people can use like any like sixty gigabyte card or whatever. Okay, so now let's uh, go to the overhead, and then um, maybe I'll hold this up. So well, you know what I could do? I could put a bunch of lullabies on it, and I could call it Napster. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so this is the button. This is this boot button. So let me um, play it, and I'll hold it up to the speaker. Maybe you want to go to the full size me. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so that was just like an eight second clip um, of me just, you know, I press the button on here and the audio um, comes out the speaker. All right, and that's that. So basically, you know, this was just to prove like it can play um, the WAV files. They sound really good. Um, you know, that sound clip didn't sound um, super great, but let me... Do I have another audio? I actually don't think I have another audio at this time. But what I'll, yeah, I, well, we also didn't want to use an audio clip that would get us in trouble. But um, what I'm going to do next is maybe wire up a micro SD card to verify they can play audio clips off a micro SD. Um, and I have a micro SD key pi add on. So I'll just like stack it. I'll make a little like hacker stacker and then read the SD card, in, uh, read it off there, and then we'll put longer. Um, files on and just make sure that they work. Yeah. So that's our that's our next thing. Yeah, we'll we'll maybe use some of our songs uh, or some songs that I made, so YouTube doesn't put us in YouTube jail. Okay, so we'll do that next, and then we'll go back to the PCB design because I, as I was doing it, I was like, oh man, I really don't want to like. It takes time to like get PCBs ordered. You know, it's a couple of weeks and then put the prototypes together, and I wanted to, you know, I would rather make sure that at least the the concept was right before I um get the hardware and realize that like it, it you know i can't stream audio off of a micro sd card um or like there's some power issue like you know i realized that i needed a boost converter for example originally i actually thought like oh i could just run off of the three volt from the battery but um actually um the battery totally didn't like it even even freshly recharged ones okay okay stay tuned for the next episode of my little hacker um i uh uh, special thanks to uh, Baby, who uh, helped run everything behind the scenes. Thank you, Baby. And uh, I have I, I have a, a microphone there, so if Baby talks in future, oh, you did you future did episodes. Factor. You yeah. the Baby. Yeah, in future episodes, if uh, Baby talks or babbles, uh, we'll just do some breaking news. Well, it's funny every time that you don't have a mic, she squeaks. But then the one time you exactly you have a mic, so that's exactly that's AV life with a baby. Yeah, if you put a microphone up and you're just like, come on, then uh, they'll just be completely silent and uh, sleep through the entire show. But if you don't, expect some baby singing. Okay. Okay. Thanks, everybody. All right. Thanks, everybody. My little hacker, my little hacker, building with you is magical. My little hacker, my little hacker, it's time to build.